What is going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different kinds of comic book stories from Marvel, DC, and even IDW as well. This time we are going to jump back over to Marvel and continue our coverage over the Ultimate Marvel Universe where right now we are covering the Ultimatum event and we are covering the main books and the tie-ins as well. This time we're going to pick back up with the last Ultimate Fantastic Four tie-in and the last Ultimate Fantastic Four book. Ultimate Fantastic Four number 60, the book to end a very very strange series. I do hope you enjoy today's video and if you do please hit that like button down below and also subscribe but let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Now just like the other Ultimate Fantastic Four tie-ins the first few pages are giving us an insight of the life of one of the Fantastic Four members when they were a baby and this time it is Johnny Storm except we learn that right off the bat that Susan Storm wanted to be a great big sister. She always wanted to protect her younger brother. But we also learn that their parents, Franklin and Mary Storm, were already having problems in their marriage, which of course we already knew that, but we learned that their problems in their marriage began when Mary Storm was pregnant with Johnny Storm. But getting back into the present day, we see Susan and the Mole Man studying the nanobots we saw in our last video, where we learned that Reed Richards had put nanobots inside the other members of the Fantastic Four without their permission. And so Susan is hoping to use these nanobots as a way to find Johnny Storm since he is still missing, except the signal in these nanobots are too weak to be able to use as a way to locate Johnny. They need to boost the signal by 2 million times the original strength. This is where we see Mary Storm taking Susan, Ben, and the Mole Man back to Atlantis because there is a weapon down there that Atlantis was going to use back when Atlantis was around that could literally bring certain doom to any of their enemies. But of course, Atlantis was wiped out. And so the weapon is still down there and their goal is to use the weapon as an antenna to find Johnny Storm. Now, remember that Namor is still with Reed Richards and so right now the weapon is defenseless. Well, they thought it was, except when they get down there, they are greeted by some enemies. We get introduced to Namora, Tiger Shark, and Dr. Dorgas in the Ultimate Marvel Universe. Now, usually, I would sit down and discuss the differences between the two characters from their main Marvel Universe counterpart, except this is the only book these characters ever appear in, and so there is no point of me doing that. But you have these guys get in the fight with Susan, Storm, and Ben Grimm, where you have them being able to knock out our heroes very quickly. This leads to the moment where we see them all tangle up in binds, where we learn that Nomura and her fellow villains all came here looking for the weapon as well. Now this leads to the moment where you have Mary Storm convince the group of villains that she can help them. And the reason why she is doing this is to trick them and find a way to save her daughter Susan Storm, also Ben Grimm and the Mole Man as well. Because remember, in this universe Mary Storm faked her death so she could leave her family to do research to find Atlantis. And so she missed out on her children's lives and she has been trying to fix those relationships with her children and we actually do get a couple pages to remind us about the fact that she left her family behind and then to only come back when her children are basically adults and they both have powers plus she wanted to use Reed Richards and Ben Grimm as well. And when Susan found out that her mother was alive, it began the process of her hating her own mother. 
Now getting back to the main story, we see Mary Storm keep pretending that she is going to help these villains get to the powerful secret weapon. Except she actually learns that for Dr. Darkest to survive underwater, he has some kind of device on his wrist that is also keeping Susan Storm, Ben Grimm, and the Mole Man in those binds. And so you have Susan use her powers to turn off the device, which take care of Dr. Darkest and frees them from their binds. And we then see Susan and Ben fighting against Tiger Shark and Namor, which honestly, this fight does not even last that long. This fight does get wrapped up very quickly. This leads to the ending of the book, which is also the last book of the Ultimate Fantastic Four, because we learn that Susan Storm, Mary Storm, Ben Grimm, and the Mole Man were able to find the secret weapon. Of course, they used the weapon as an antenna to find Johnny Storm where we also learn that Reed has put nanobots in his body as well. Because when using the weapon, the weapon picked up two people in two different dimensions. It showed Reed being one of the two people and he is in the Squadron Supreme Universe with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Zadra, which I do hope I pronounce her name correctly. Then it shows Johnny Storm, except it shows Johnny Storm is in some kind of hell dimension. And the book closes on this cliffhanger. And guys, this book, sorry, this part right here does not get resolved until the last two chapters of Ultimatum and Ultimate Fantastic Four Requiem. And so guys, this is where we are going to end today's video. And so guys, please leave me a like down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, I'm out of here and I will see you on the next comic book video. Later guys.